welcome to the weaving. Now this is lotus, silk and cotton weaving on hand looms. It's all handmade. So some of those beautiful wraps that you see both the ladies and the men wearing, this is how they make them. Very labour intensive, very slow, takes a long time. I'll find out how long it takes to make one garment. But, uh, but it really is quite remarkable to see. But, uh, there's lots of these on the lake, around the lake. This is in the floating village. This one to see. There you can see the different weavers or bobbins have the different colours of thread in it. So if you put the thread in, there's so many of the colour she wants, then switches out the bobbin, puts the next one in. Slowly, slowly, pedals with her feet to make it go backwards and forwards. Makes the shuttle go backwards and forwards. So, have a closer look at that. Rolling into our next stop. Uh, I can feel that. Handicraft and hand rolled cheroots or cigar making. I don't smoke, but let's go and see how they make these things. Pagoda. There's always pretty much a permanent market, market at the bottom of the pagoda, but this is very much a tourist market. Uh, this is not for locals at all. As you see around, it's tourists, 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 uh, because they come to see the pagoda, of course. Uh, but everything for sale here, it's a tourist market, not a local market. So a good place to bring up souvenirs. And it's interesting, I'll go and take you and show you the uh, pagoda, which I'm looking here, apart from being entrance vet, um, thing also has a camera fee, a video camera fee of 500 chats, or a photo camera fee for 500 chats. So, no hold to pay that too, but uh, I'll hopefully get some pictures of the inside for you, so you can see what it's like as soon as I get past these people. And up here. So here's the, oops, excuse me ma'am. Here you go. And again, here's your things. So no socks, no shoes, short pants, blouse, and be quiet. We are inside the big pagoda at the end of Inlay Lake. It is fantastic. And, uh, it's quite amazing in here. Look at this. Now, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you some closer footage if you can. 
but in the middle of the temple, of which ladies are not allowed to go in, by the way. You can go in the outside temple, but you're not allowed past this part. But in the middle of the temple, which you can see right there, is basically lumps of gold. <laughs> This used to be called the Jumping Cat Monastery. Because they used to, monks used to exercise the cats by making them jump through hoops, but they don't do that anymore. Because uh, it was sort of a bit frowned upon. Some people thought it wasn't cruel. I think it was just exercise for the cats. The cats probably loved the interaction. But no more jumping cats, but still cats. And this is still a very impressive and large monastery. And we are still in the middle of a lake. So I'm not sure how the cats first got here, because cats don't really swim and uh, they were completely surrounded by water on all sides. So it, uh, right here we have a look around. Look at all these shrines. Oh, that's amazing. show you this shot from the air so you can see how vast these gardens are. Inlay Le In Le Lake. I forgot all the things I've done. It was, it was a great day. Got back mid afternoon, enough time to go put everything on charge. Get around a battery power. Surprise, surprise, hey? Took so much footage. I hope you've enjoyed the bits that I've shown you. And uh, yes, got back in time, put batteries on charge, then went to get somebody because they didn't have lunch on the way. Because the places on the way, there is places to eat, but they're quite touristy and reasonably exp or very expensive because you're like sitting on the lake so I just ate plenty of breakfast, took a few snacks on my boat and then just ate at 3 o'clock when I got back in town which uh, back at the chicken place which uh, cooked roast chicken or barbecue for me anyway I digress 
Um, but yes, it was a beautiful day. Now what you've got to remember with Inlay Lake, a lot of people, and I hear a lot of people when I'm going, or a few people when I'm going around, complaining that it's not a real, uh, not a real experience. Because, you know, these people are brought here for the tourists, and to a certain degree, yes, the places you go, they are. But how you've got to look at it is that what you're getting is a snapshot of a lot of Myanmar life brought to you so you don't have to go because a lot of these like the long neck women and a lot of the weavers they wouldn't normally be this close to the lake's edge they'll be in the remote mountains and hills and it's especially on a short time budget it's almost impossible to see them in real life so what you've got to look at the inlay experience apart from seeing the lake and the beauty of the lake and the fishermen which are doing their natural life and the floating garden and the floating village and the markets which are real life shall we say um, the, the weaving and the cigar things, what you've got to do is you're actually getting an opportunity to see that bit of Myanmar life that you wouldn't see otherwise. So yes, they have brought them in, but they are still working. They're still working for a salary and making the products. And then obviously they're trying to sell them to tourists, but they do sell them. So it is a real life experience, just in a slightly artificial situation. But it is giving you me as the visitor the opportunity to see something that we wouldn't be able to experience otherwise so I still enjoy it um, it hasn't got too touristy there's there was no pressure on me to buy anything you know I went to the silversmith I went to the, the, the several weavers and I went to the cigar and they offered things to sell you know so they'd have a look around the shop and there's always a shop attached to them I politely looked around but I showed no interest I don't really want to buy anything and there was no sort of hassle or pressure that you must buy um, you know, I'd already taken photos and things like that. A couple of the times I did um, voluntarily, there's a little tip box, I put, put something in the tip box, but there was no pressure to do that. And there was no pressure to buy anything either, which is really nice. So it was not, and I always enjoy, and going out on the lake is always so beautiful. Oops. Um, it's just, and again, a bit calm on the yesterday, so it was really beautiful. Now, sadly leaving in Lei Lake, in this area in Wang Shui. Um, packed up, all out of my room, everything on charge, nice full tummy, ready for the journey because it's another night bus time. This is my third night bus, third night bus. Um, now traveling from here at Wang Shui to Mandalay. At, uh, so, and just enjoying, look at that over there. Let me show you this rather than pointing the camera at me. To see me off, I have this beautiful evening. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> 